Jet wants Chase gone. Hey, everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, and sunshine. It's going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off the moto industry. Why you ask? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you. Nobody else will. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in moto history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded moto people. Iron. We'll sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen a little moto iron today who's ready to blow the lid off the moto industry with me. This should be a good one. I mean, hey, let's just read between the lines and look between the cracks on this one. Did you see during the television or streaming pa pla package? I should call it because we don't get live television for our sport anymore. Something happened, different video, but... I think it was JT. JT, the new track analysis on the boots on the ground out there. He's doing a good job. Keep it up, JT. Keep it up. Talks to Lars Lindstrom, his uh, HRC head uh, manager, team manager from, from truck driver to manager. That's what can happen over at Honda, dude. They got some deep pockets over there. And we asked him, like, dude, like, this is kind of gnarly. You got Chase and Jetson, and you got Red Bull, and you got Monster sponsors for each. And there's clearly some division here. And we can see a PR team has been called in to coach these guys what to say behind the camera. It's so scripted now. Back in the day, we always got to talk about back in the day, you guys. Why you ask? Of course, I'm going to tell you. Because back in the day, the sport was firing hard on all cylinders, my brothers. Not anymore not anymore the reality the reality is, is this they're scripted prs all over these guys they've got handlers now at this level you're not seeing inside the industry when we watch only thing you can really see only thing that's in pure is when you watch the racing itself when they're on the bike and their mouths are shut and they got to see who wants to go send it or not that's when you get to see the industry in its purest form Television packages from commentators, track analysis to everything in between, interviews with the riders, podium speeches, everything is now scripted with PR teams involved. Sanity. So the realities are Lars says, yeah, um, I can't remember. You guys remember it, but it was basically some something to the effect of. Yeah, you know, this is a good problem to have, I guess. But yeah, you know, it's still it's a problem. We've got a problem at the Honda truck. We kind of saw that with Lars and what he said. They're they're basically walking on eggshells around their truck. There are two camps. Even JT mentioned you know, that. Guys, uh, Lars, I know they have big entourages now. Blah 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 blah. The realities are they do. These guys have massive camps. There's division there, and Chase just won a championship, but unfortunately. So to Jetson, and Jetson's getting paid more money than Chase. I can almost guarantee it. Now, I don't know if they know each other's salaries or their, earn, their earning capacity, what they're pulling in. They definitely each have different management and agents behind them. But this thing is insane. Somebody's got to go. And we all know who's going to go. Who gets let go in this deal? Who's on borrowed time? Well, Chase, you're gone, dude. You're gone because even though you're high level stuff, Jetson's clearly higher. And Honda's going into their pockets deep. It took them 20 years of paying riders the most of anybody in the paddock to bring a championship and then didn't put bring the championship till finally it would appear it's going to work. We don't know because this is the big test jetson is he the guy now my guess is he's the future now listen jetson is kind of a freak of nature almost at the bubba level in fact i would say and i hate to say this bubba if you're listening because i mean you're in your own right just revolutionary in terms of the talent on the bike and when you were in the industry it was still pretty it was corrupt but not at the levels we're seeing now but jetson is a freak of nature the dude's body is this built for moto he's light he's agile he's strong he's fit he finesses the bike he's like a he's like a Wyndham meets Bubba basically let's just say that almost more Wyndham-esque than Bubba but he's got a little bit of Bubba in terms of natural talent 
levels and that my friends is creating division because listen if you're if you're on chase sexton's paid payroll whatever it is it's trainer life coach nutritionist whatever he's got in his entourage plenty of stuff travel agents and whatever he's employing a bunch of people he's a he's a basically a brand a company Everybody on in Chase's camp, you're you're awesome, Chase. You're the next best. You're the best thing. Oh, you're the best. You're gonna be. Ch They're cheerleading Chase when they should be like, dude. Listen, you know what? Let's just capitalize on the paydays as much as we can. It looks like this Jetson kid's probably gonna smoke us, but maybe we'll get lucky and he'll pull a Tomac and get hurt. I wouldn't hold my breath on that because the dude's too fit. Tomac older, veteran, Jet not. His body will put up that, and his and the way he rides, he just. He's conserving his body. This kid could last for a long time. But this is moto. It is dangerous. A lapper gets in your way. Anything could happen. That's why now when it's too rainy out, we just pull these stars off the track. We don't want them to get hurt anymore. We're paying too much money. You need to distribute the money throughout the rest of the industry because it's about to evaporate. There's no sponsors who want to come in anymore. The privateers are dirtbagging it. They're going to get this heart and they're going to go jump over to World Supercross and just do off-season stuff. And unless the Nationals come to their city near them, they ain't coming. You're already running on a skeleton crew. And final thoughts that come to you as a friend, as a moto guy, as somebody who wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track, understanding the waters we're swimming in now, shark-infested Team Honda. Sharks are circling the HRC factory. Honda rig is, I can only imagine who somebody's been in the, in the pits for many years before. Camps. There's camps all over the truck as it is. This is on hyperspeed now. Like there is already division at every semi truck in the paddock in terms of personnel, mechanics, riders. Everybody's on their own little island just putting in their work. Honda has some gnarly stuff going on. Jetson Pry wants to get old Sexton out of there so the mood can improve. My guess is the mood is a little tricky over there. I'm going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. I'll see you on the next video.